So get ready because your energy bills are going up. The San Antonio City Council just okayed CPS's rate hikes. And this could be just the beginning. Utility leaders say many of us will pay an extra five bucks a month starting in March. That's not where it ends, though. Let's bring in our Patty Santos, who has been following the story. Patty, there hasn't been a rate increase in eight years, and now CPS Energy talking about three increases over the next five years. Yeah, that's right. Moving forward, CPS Energy customers can expect a rate evaluation every year. In the next two and then the next four years, we can expect another rate change. That is on top of what was passed by City Council today. If you think about the prices of other things, there's nothing that I can think of that hasn't gone up in price by at least 4% in the last eight years. And uh, that's more than what CPS is asking for this time around. Bill Day, chair of the CPS Energy Citizens Advisory Committee, says tonight's rate approval by San Antonio City Council ensures your power and gas stay on. CPS Energy Interim President and CEO promises transparency with the funds. That we're going to be making, uh, we'll, we'll get a work plan together and uh, we'll, we'll provide updates on our website periodically on the amount of investment we're making in our power plants. Here's how the $73 million will be put to use starting tomorrow. $31 million will be used to plan out out an infrastructure resiliency plan to better prepare for summer and winter peaks. 15 million will be spent to assess the current 22 year old software system that runs the day to day operations of the power grid. It's going to take us into the future that protects us against cyber and all the risks that come with having an old system like we've got. 14 million to prepare for the city's growth in energy demand and 13 million to fill 400 vacant positions and make equity pay adjustments in the next two years. The city's vote also included a higher fuel charge to pay off the $418 million in extra costs for the February 2021 storm, which could still increase pending legal challenges. In the next year, CPS Energy will begin talking about the future of the coal plant at Calaveras Lake. There are financial implications for our customers when we make the decision on what we're going to do with Spruce, which, which is why it's taken this long to get to this point. And again, today's rate increase simply plays, pays for a plan to move forward. The actual cost of the plan is going to come in or more rate increases. And here is what utility customers are looking at in the next four years. An estimated 11% rate increase. That is on top of what was passed tonight. That's more than 14% rate increase in less than five years. Stephanie. All right, Patty, thank you. You know, and all this talk here has really put the spotlight on how that utility has been spending money. So on Monday, the CPS Board of Trustee President said that next month, the company is going to discuss evaluating the company's management structure, corporate culture, efficiency, and overall pay. Now, some council members want a third party to come and audit CPS, and we'll keep you posted if that happens.